You're on summer schedule today, huh? Yeah, but I only do this today and tomorrow. Yeah, because you're going to get up early on a non-get-up-early day just to go run. Yeah, um, I don't know. I, I run in the evenings, I guess, in the summer, but it's really hard. Yeah. But I'm not getting up early, so if either run in the evening when it's hot or I get up early, I'll, I'll run when it's... I'll run when it's 140 degrees outside. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. But look at it this way this afternoon. You won't have to motivate oh, yourself to go yeah. run. You'll yeah. be you'll be real happy with yourself this afternoon. Yeah, when I get on the couch and you ain't getting me off of my love seat. <laughs> Here's right. my sweet gray girl. You stay cool. Don was out here a few minutes ago doing the wheels. Good morning, Ruby. We're burning off a little fog and low clouds this morning, but it's supposed to be a bright sunny day. 71 out there on our way to hotter than we want it to be. Have a good day, buddy. Good I'll see you later. Yep, it's the final countdown. <laughs> According to the tracking number, Don's expecting his new Pixel 3a um, cell phone to show up today. So I know Johnny was excited about um, helping him uh, get it going. And uh, that should be pretty cool. I'm excited to see how Pokemon Go runs on it. <laughs> we all know why Don needed the new phone. Well, that's not exactly true, but... Um, yeah, it will be interesting. So this morning I've got to stop at Walmart on the way back through town. Somehow there was no more dry cat food for the outside cats in the garage in the normal place where I store store it uh, until I need it. So I do have to run into Walmart this morning. And um, other than that, I don't think anything in particular going on today. But it is the next to the last school day with tomorrow being obviously the last day. So... Um, we're in the, we're definitely winding it down here. It's a nice breeze out here this morning. Hopefully Don's run was reasonably pleasant for him. I know that he's, uh, back at the house watering my plants. Our plants? No, my plants. Since, uh, there is no rain in the forecast, uh, for the whole seven, next seven days. Just heat. Now they're resetting the uh, dog and cat food area today. I remembered the cat food, which is always good that I remember what I came in for in the first place. And I picked up this big cardboard box that I need. And it fit. It's a pretty good sized box. Hi Mittens, that didn't take you too long. I'm back in Ruby. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm on my way to get Johnny. Uh, Don and I did a couple of small chores projects around the house this morning and uh, had a nap. Yeah, needed that Monday. Oh my God, I had to get up at 5.30 in the morning nap. And uh, not much else going on. Uh, Johnny has Taekwondo tonight at 5, so it'll be a pretty fast turnaround and then back out to Taekwondo. I am going to say that I was disappointed to um, read that the Tesla stock price is down as low as it is. I think when Don asked uh, Amazon's Echo this morning, it was 211 and something. And I was like, whoa. Um, just disappointing. I read the Electrek article where... Um, Dan Ive said that uh, Tesla should be focusing on Model 3 and not spreading its business out to things like robo-taxis and insurance. And um, it was just really disappointing. I want to know how come he gets to say all that stuff and drive the stock price down and hurt the stock value for stock owners. But if Elon even breathes, he's in trouble. But this guy will not be in trouble. He'll be allowed to say whatever he wants um, what I really want to know is what is wrong with people that A, um, the stock is so undervalued and B, that people don't get behind um, Tesla more, I guess. It was just kind of upsetting a little bit, but um, Don and I are still long. It's a great afternoon to be in the X with this beautiful sky. The 
really open windshield. It just makes driving when the sky looks like this so enjoyable. Johnny and I have made it back to town. I was just noticing that the town was apparently out today putting up uh, flags getting ready for Memorial Day weekend. Looks good. Hometown patriotism. Well that didn't take you long to get settled. You would think you had a full rough day at school. Did you have a rough rough day? Nope, we barely did anything. <laughs> Johnny knows what his mama likes. He came out, he spotted the Luna moth. He's taking a picture for me. I saw one in the yard last year too. Way cool. Probably just hatched. Thanks bud. Mm -hmm. I had Ruby in the garage because in the summertime it just gets too hot if I leave him right here on the pad. Plus we're still expecting FedEx with Don's phone which hasn't arrived yet today. We had someone come down the driveway at 11.30 this morning. It was uh, a religious house call. <laughs> and uh, But it wasn't the FedEx guy like we figured it would be. Johnny and I also um, moved the Luna Moth very carefully away from the platform there because obviously if the cats jumped up, they were gonna think he was a play toy. He went off to a nearby tree where he should be safe. Have fun. I'll see you in a while. Okay, bye. Bye. Love you. I've picked Johnny up from Taekwondo now and uh, on our way back to the bus, we've got the FRX bus behind us today from downtown Raleigh and it's an older bus this afternoon. So, um, while I was driving around town while Johnny was at Taekwondo, I had a car um, make a left turn in front of me when I had the right of way. It was a uh, 35 speed limit there, but I was probably only doing 25 as I approached the light and could sort of see the person start to infringe upon the intersection. Uh, they eventually stopped, which was good, and I did apply the brake pretty good, but you know, not enough to throw me into the windshield or anything. But that was scary, you know, I get, I don't know, I think left, yellow left turn arrows are, I think people are still confused about them sometimes. I really wish they would either be green and you go and everyone else is stopped or not because I think sometimes people just still get confused about them. But anyway, Ruby's brakes work well. That's good to know. Well, I discovered in the mailbox, the FedEx guy didn't bring it up to the house. I don't really understand. Maybe it was FedEx to local post office and then local post office delivery. Yeah, well, it's like this box. It's kind of heavy and this other little box. Yeah, he's got his phone and he's got the case. He went ahead and ordered the affix official Pixel 3a case. Yeah, that's right. But that's why we have teenagers. <laughs> Johnny wanted to help set it up so yeah. while I finish up dinner you guys have at it Johnny says this is very important oh that, it's like, not a peel it's oh maybe it a is bag. there's a peel yeah. on the back and a peel on the front or she nope it's just a bag phone. I was gonna say Johnny it helps if you actually there we go. Okay, Johnny says that's very important now Don is an anti screen protector kind yeah, of a guy so, yeah, I tried to tell him the glass protectors are good, but, and he got white, but on the front, you'll notice it's all black and it'll be in the case, so how are yeah. you ever going to even know? Right. Well, I got white in case I drop it. I'm tired of all these black phones I can't see when I drop them down. But, of course, in the case. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you did a white case. <laughs> okay. So, we made it use the big-ass font. <laughs> those of us who can't see well i don't want to hear you griping about i can't read my phone so good it's a barbecue chicken leg quarter and brussels sprouts kind of night all right this is the inaugural call yes sir see if we switch it now we didn't um we used the uh seamless process oh look at there marianne's calling marianne's calling you yay
That's so sweet. Hi, Donnie. I love you. I love you too. Oh, that's the best. I'd say you're worked up. Yeah. Now just to see what Pokemon Go looks oh. like. Here comes Pokemon Go. Because we know that's the most important thing. Not. I suppose. You're going to tap that for me. Yeah. Well, there you are. Way cool. Yeah, I'm even wearing a yellow t-shirt. Yep. Tap on the apom for me. That would be that purple guy. Tap maybe later. The bottom thing. Just hit got it. Way cool. Fantastic. Awesome. So all loaded up and I just thought I'd show you this was the cover they were selling in the Google store with the phone. And it actually feels like fabric. And it's not solid black so you should be able to sort of see it maybe. It's, pr it's pretty cool. Don's, Don's pleased with it. Yep.